This is a public service announcement paid for by the University of North Dakota Students for Better Use of Their Money Committee. Are you sick and tired of having to walk ridiculous distances to get to your classrooms? Have you bought an expensive parking pass and still not been able to find a reasonable spot? This announcement is being brought to you by the UND Students for Better Use of Mo Their Money Committee. Through this video, you will learn to evade those golden sedans with the orange lights that act like FBI cars but are le less respected than mall cops. You will not need a parking pass after you watch this video. Hell, you won't even need change for the meters. Now let me be clear, there is a certain amount of risk that is involved in all of this, but our methods have been known to work 90% of the time, every time. Alright, let's begin with the best spots around campus. These are different places around the University of North Dakota you can park illegally and get away with it 90% of the time. We begin here with the A-lot. Maintenance vehicles only. Um, no parking here to corner. The meter lot. Um, a spot on the street. Along with the spot on the street, we also have right up front here, highlighted in red, Executive Row. These are some of the best spots on campus, but there are very, there's only about three or four depending on the parking situation. Sometimes people get very selfish and will leave spaces. That is a very disrespected move on campus. Um, we have the Walsh Hall Loop, which includes a 30-minute max parking. Also, moving along here, we have some of the best spots on campus. Also, some of the riskiest spots include alumni parking. Um, along with alumni parking, we have the most coveted spot on campus, which is the vice president's spot. Next we're going to talk about a, one of the most respected procedures on campus in trying to f if there are no spots available. This includes displaying a fake ticket. Um, so how this procedure works is you take an old ticket you have, you simply place it under your windshield. Um, these work the best in either alumni or the metered lots. And when the parking police come around they think you've already got a ticket, so, so they move right along with their business. So this is an outline of some of the most respected spots on campus. I hope you can find these. Now while all of those are seemingly great options, some people just aren't willing to take the risk of actually getting a ticket from the parking office. These next couple methods, these are methods that if you aren't willing to take the risk anywhere on the board here, these are methods to actually get a legal spot somewhere on the street and um, take your chances with walking to class. Zach's going to walk through the first few with you. These are methods to find legal parking spots um, on UND's campus. Yeah, so we're going to start off first with the constant roam. I just want to start off by saying the constant roam, these people, you should be aware, these people are a bit on edge and very uneasy, so you have to beware for them. But the constant roamers are just going to continually roam the streets along University Avenue, Princeton Street, Fifth Avenue, Oxford Street. They're just going to constantly keep on roaming until they find a spot. <clears throat> Brings us to our second point, the hazard wait. Now, these people are very easygoing and very patient, and they will wait for their spots. These people will wait on Oxford Street, perhaps, put on their hazard lights, wait for, wait for classes to end, and watch people just get into their cars, 
once they leave, they'll just pull up and take their spot. Moving on, Brad will take the rest. Yeah, those are two two great methods to find a spot. The next couple, um, this one's called the first spot no nonsense method. This one, you are just basically any anywhere you find a spot, you're taking it, no matter where it is. It could be up here, it could be the in executive row down here. Um, it just depends. First spot you see, there's no nonsense available. These people usually love making rash decisions, so. Um, they can also be a little bit on edge, but they make very rash decisions. Um, as you can see, somebody parking up here can't be thinking too clearly. Uh, the, ne the next one we're going to talk about is the direct Ralph. This one's not on the board here, but uh, up above, somewhere up in the wall up here, would be the Ralph Engelstad Arena and the S-Lot up there. And... Um, that one is on the other side of 6th Avenue, and um, that leaves you about a good half mile to hike to school. Um, I, I have a buddy named Ryan Martins, and he, he makes his living on the Direct Ralph. And uh, a lot of people that park in this lot, they feel obligated to do it. They feel like they owe something to the lot. Otherwise, why would they park there? Um, let's move along. This one is... Uh, this is a move that takes a lot of finesse. This is called the wedge. And what's happening on the wedge is I'll draw out for you. The wedge, you're, you're, you're in a constant roam pattern. You see two cars. You don't think you have enough space to get in. So what do you do? You don't keep going by. You get in, you parallel park, and you wedge yourself in between the two. That's the reason cars have bumpers, and that's the reason that uh, they need to be used. You need to wedge yourself in. You can't let a spot go to waste no matter if it's too small for your car. Um, the wedge is one of the most respected moves on campus along with displaying a fake ticket. Um, and then last but not least, this is my personal favorite method. This is called the homer. What happens in the homer is you've exhausted all of your other options on the board here. And what happens in the homer is you can't find a spot anywhere. You can't find a spot legally, illegally, and basically what happens is you just pack it in and say, you know what, I'm going home. If it's the morning, you go back to bed. If it's uh, for a night class, you can't find a spot, maybe you go have a few beers. But uh, basically the homer, you're just leaving class because you can't find a parking spot that's uh, within a reasonable distance for you. We'd like to thank everyone for watching, and we'd just like to say we hope that what we've told you here today can get you into a spot that you would like to have and we hope your next parking mission you can link, think back to this video think of some of the methods we've discussed think of some of the ways to get around um, the parking office police cars mall cops whatever you want to call them um, and ultimately if you do all of these steps and methods the right way ultimately you should end up in executive row time after time those first five spots on oxford street right there um, Using these methods is risky. There's no doubt about it. It is risky. But uh, at the end of the day, the rewards will definitely outweigh that risk. So thanks for watching.